refuse my offer yeah. to give you a cuddle. Yeah, uh, damn right I don't. Because I might make you feel better. No, I'm sorry. I mean, I do cuddle, for instance, you know, people who are male relatives, like my nephew or something no, like so that. You, do you know, cuddle men. Uh, only in a in a uh, the warmth of the family. But I mean, you wouldn't see me outside of any family home giving any man a cuddle. I would never cuddle any stranger. The idea of kissing a man on the cheeks is, is just have so you ever, Have you never bizarre. been, say, at a football match yeah. and suddenly Everton score a goal and you yes. turn to the guy next to you who you don't know well, and put your arms you, around him that's and That's not a cuddle. That's not a cuddle. That's well, a, it is. It's not. It's, it's, a, it's an instant explosion of joy at a, a, yeah, an it's, emotional it's, situation. The point is that it's about human physical contact. Yeah. And it says here yeah. that even if you just hug for 20 seconds a day, yes. it boosts your levels of oxytocin. Uh, which is what? a hormone that makes you feel good. What is that? It's a hormone that makes you feel good. Yeah, well, people who need an oxytocin blast they have got something wrong with their lives, and if I were them, I'd go and get treated for it or something like that, because that's not what it's all about. This idea that, oh, you've got to have physical contact, that's only for weaklings. It's only for weaklings, mate. And, and, and I'm telling you that, you know, the idea of coming another man, particularly a stranger, is so bizarre to the way that we were all brought up. I don't up agree. And, and, well, of course it is. What do you mean you don't agree? I don't agree. You've been I'm going around hugging uh, strangers since you were about 10 or 12 well, or something. I don't hug strangers as a matter of course no but there have yeah. been moments probably at football matches or things like that yeah, where you get I mean, that's, overexcited that's bizarre circumstances men in this country don't hug each other what about New Year's Eve you know when the, the, the old bells no, no 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 you used to hug loads of people no 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 oh, you'll find me hugging any man honestly on New Year's Eve that's all really yeah, usually in a darkened room, you'd have to, you know, perhaps a rather attractive young lady yeah, needs a bit of attention or something like that. And then you like get that. punched by the man. Yeah, you may get punched by the man. It's somebody's girlfriend. That can happen. Right, 08717 text 81089, email via the website, talksport.co.uk. <laughs> Slash Parry and Graham. There Indeed, you go. There, uh, there's an awful lot of texts and emails that yep. come in, all about on the same theme. Yes. I'll just give you a few, a few examples of them. Simon in Pompey, Porky couldn't cuddle anyone, yep. his arms are not long enough. Uh, the reason why Porky is against cuddling is that he can't. He can give a cuddle, mm. but he can't receive one back because they can't get their arms around him. Yeah. Uh, Brad in Cheltenham, Mike Parry is clearly not going to be able to hug due to the obvious arm length issue. Mm. That's a bit more highbrow that one. Exist, of and uh, Watford mm. Wardy says it would be impossible to cuddle Porky. Mm. My arms wouldn't be able to reach around his fat body, and his arms are too short to reach around mine. Yeah, it makes me sound like Humpty Dumpty mm. and uh, you know some midget guy. Um, look, I'll tell you what, I'll go straight to the lines now because somebody is making an outrageous claim which you've got to put. Uh, down right at the start of this hour. It's Paul in Preston. Hello, Paul. Hi, Mike. It's Paul Cookson here. Paul Cookson. Afternoon. Paul. Sorry, is that, uh, is that, does that mean... Uh, <laughs> it means you're supposed to know who he is. Do I know you, Paul? No, I, well, you, you, you should do, because you have hugged me. Oh, yeah, OK. And when was this? Actually, you can't be a stranger then, Paul. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry. No, I, it, it, was, it was neither welcome nor appreciated at the time, to be honest. So where was this? Where was this, please? This was at the, uh, the Blue Kipper event last year for, uh, for Joel Royal. Blue Kipper event. Blue oh, Kipper. Oh, yes, I certainly... I certainly uh, hosted a, a dinner for Joe Royal, but then one would because, of course, he's an outstanding footballing hero in that part of the world. That's right, and I'm, I'm the poet who wrote the poem about him, and as I came down from the stage, oh, yeah. he said, well done, and he gave me a big bear hug. Yeah, I don't think it was a bear hug. I remember exactly <laughs> who you are, Paul, and I remember the <laughs> circumstances in, entirely, and I, I remember it as being a vigorous handshake and a congratulatory, <laughs> congratulatory pat on the back. I, I, did, you, I, I did you try to be clouded by a... a I don't think so. Did, did you try and sort of edge out of the way, Paul? How long did the hug <laughs> last for? Uh, well, longer than I wanted, put it that way. Uh, no, you see, this is a calumny. This is another... <laughs> another well, I'm sure there are plenty of witnesses. No, 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 no. no I think, witnesses, I think you'll find. No, sort of Paul, I think you'll find that... Uh, you haven't got a video record of the event, have you, Paul? <laughs> no, of course well, not. If, if I have, it's not something I've played back. Yeah, OK. Paul, um, it's very nice to hear from you. It was, a, it, anyway, was, right. it was a marvellous evening. Thank you very much indeed. But please have a refresher of your memory on that particular occasion <laughs> because it could well be... I'm that surprised that actually Paul didn't need counselling right. after such an event. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm it's, it's taken me a year to sort of face up to the demons and ring in to Yeah, honest, well, uh, you know, you could be turning around the store in your head and you know what happens at these sort of things, Paul, because I'm a bit of a psychologist on the side, <laughs> when you start imagining these things, the longer it goes on before you cleanse your brain of it, the more you think it's actually <laughs> happened, you see what I mean? So, so you need to be very, very careful you don't end up on a couch somewhere relaying to some psychiatrist you well know, is that the next step first you cuddle well, and then the next thing well, you know you're on a couch with well you? I'm, I'm no 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 I meant, I meant the psychiatrist couch, oh, couch yeah. but Paul thank you very much indeed my friend I'll have a Tony and it was 